Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. This is Anubhav, and in this video, we will be learning about error handling in ExpressJS. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will never miss any update from Simply Learn. So, without further ado, let's begin and see what's in it for you. First, we'll see what is error handling. After that, We'll see how does error handling works in ExpressJS and then we will be setting up error handling in ExpressJS. So, what is error handling? Error handling is a process in which Express catches and processes the error that occurs synchronously and asynchronously. Express comes with its own default error handlers. Simply, in error handling, the tasks are to identify errors, report them to the users, and then develop some recovery strategies and implement them to handle the errors. This whole process should not slow the overall processing time of the program. Now, how does error handling works in ExpressJS? ExpressJS comes in with a built-in error handler. This default error handling middleware function is added at the end of the middleware function stack. It automatically catches all errors in router handlers and allows developers to extend router handling functionalities by middleware function. Error handling in Express is done using middleware. This middleware is defined in the same way as other middleware functions. The error handling functions have four arguments, error, request, response and next. We have next function method that matches us to the next middleware handler in middleware. In error handling, we have the next error method. This function skips all middleware and matches us to the next error handler for the router. Now let's set up our error handling with Express. Open your Visual Studio code. Choose from over 300 in-demand skills and get access to 1,000 plus hours of video content for free. Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. First, we will create a new directory. For that, open your terminal, new terminal. Let's write make directory. Now I will enter the directory name. I will write simply learn or you can also write error. Press enter. You can see the error handling directory has been created. It's empty. Let's go inside that CD. The error handling. Now we are in the error handling folder. Now let's create a new project here. We'll write npm init hash y. So, as you can see, the JSON file has been created in the error handling folder. Now we will install a couple of packages here. Okay. First, we will install Express. Write npm install Express. Now, we will also install Morgan, uh, which logs the request. Uh, after that, we will also install HTTP errors. Errors. This package makes it very easy to check the status code. And then last, we will install node.env. Press enter. This will take a couple of seconds. Now, in the dependencies, you can see .env, express, HTTP errors, and Morgan. Now, I will create a file in this error handling folder. Right, app.js, enter. 
Now, let's install NodeBond, which helps us not to reset our file again and again. For that, we'll write in the npm install minus sign save node mod enter this will also take couple of seconds now here you can see the node one has been successfully installed now open your package.json file here in packet.json file, you can see here this line. I will rewrite this. You can also remove it. Let's write script. And in this, I will write node mon app dot js yes save this file by pressing control s yes now open the file app dot js here we will be importing some packages in node js we use require function right so we will write const Express required and express. Here we need express packages. Now we will be needing Morgan. We will write const Morgan. Require then Morgan. Now, like this, we will need HTTP packages const error create. Require HTTP errors. We also need dot env packages to import our environment variables. For that, we will simply write require. Require backtag dot env dot and fig. For this command, we need an env file. We will create a file dot env window. And here we have our env file where we can have our environment variables. First, we want a port for this application. So we will write the port. Port. 3000. Save this file. Now, again go back to the app.js file. Here, first we will be initializing our app. We'll write const app express function Now we will start the application. For this, we will write const port to which it will be called process dot env dot 
port 3000. Now we will make our application listen to port 3000. We will write app dot listen port number port it will call the port number and here we will call the callback function pattern function and here we will make our log statement for this we'll write console dot log backtag server is running on port dollar sign and Now, let me start the application. Before that, we'll save this file. Now, to start the application, we'll write npm start. Enter. Here, it is showing error. Let's find out. Okay. Here. Here I have wrote script. Here we need to write start. Save this file and now clear this screen. Enter npm start. So, as you can see, it is successfully running in the port 3000. And with this, we have reached the end of this video. Make sure to like and share it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.